There is something so special about finding the perfect free camp down by the river, but the challenge is for most people is finding them because it can be so tricky knowing if you can get down there. No doubt if you know a camper from Victoria, they all have their favorite Murray River camps. We have experienced quite a few of them ourselves. In case you don't have one, today I'm gonna to share this little gem with you in a sweet town called Tokenwall. really nice even though there's a highway right there. We did there. leave Geelong around about eight o'clock so we had decided that we we're going to pull up on a side of the road stop on the way to Tokemore so that we could just wake up early and get down the river early when it was daylight. Mm -hmm. Like Tilly? Yeah it's good isn't it? It was I haven't slept so long. Really? Did you also notice that all the, like the road was so quiet this morning, like no one was on it. And do you know why that is? The reason why it was so quiet this morning was because the truckies can only work for a 12 hour period. So as soon as their 12 hours is done, they have to this actually rest. This is Rebby, she should get to sleep in the back of the car like a normal dog, but she got to sleep in the bed with us. Uh, what did you want to do, Tilly? She should be sleeping with me, but I have to sleep in the Top bunk. Yeah, tried. Tilly tried to put her in the top bunk with her last night. Dad's like, ah, uh, no. <laughs> this time we've taken an entrance that's a little bit further away. A little bit further around last time. From where the bridge is, it takes you over to Tokemoor. We're heading sort of right to a bend area that's near the Moors Beach. Loads of different camps you can take along the river here. Uh, this time we're, I don't know where we're going, somewhere different. Our friends just met us and we're following them. The story of us going Traffic gap jam. How are you guys going? After a nice little sleep on the side of the road? Yes. Did you sleep well, Tex? I, no. You didn't? No. Yeah, because he had that big bulky fan on that goes... <laughs> right. Look at all the ducks running. It's like this where there's little beaches on the riverbank. Like there's another one there. They're all the way along. An amazing spot, isn't it? Look at all that space. There's a lot of room here. There is, isn't there? Yeah. Oh, this is another bend. This is where all the young fellas were. Oh, were they? Oh, yeah, yeah so we're just up here. Yeah, we can go along the top here. means there's no facilities at all but the beauty is, is there's actually a camp around the corner um, but I think you pay ten dollars a night and we can enter the toilet <laughs> This is Town Beach and this is ten dollars a night. Is it ten dollars a night? Max stay six weeks. Oh yeah. Max people twelve, sixty-five sites. So twelve people per site, which means that it's ten dollars per site, do you reckon? Oh, I'm not sure. You have to wiki it, but yeah. So they have full bins. So you can just come here and use their stuff, yeah? Yeah, I suppose. It is block and they have a dump point. I wanted to make this video because the actual town of Tokenwall is so good. When we traveled around Australia and went to the IGAs, I loved them. 
and this is no exception. It's one of the best IGAs that we've come across. I love just how they're laid out. They've got lots of the local stuff. I don't know, it's just, it's just good. 16 and 24. <laughs> Anything else you might want there, Tilly? Two cake zeros. How cool were those chairs that guy had? That's on the suit. That was so cool. Okay. But it was cheap. <laughs> It is warm, isn't it? What are you doing? It's got some timber. It's already chopped. I got some It's already chopped. Someone's already, already chopped it for you. Already cut, ready to go. So what about carp, Mark? You gotta kill it. How come you can't kill it and put them back in? Because then there's dead fish everywhere. No, yeah, but so the... Ah, the big boy! So you've got to kill it and leave it up on the bank. Remy, get away, because she rolled in off fish yesterday. If you get a fish here, just check out the local laws, because from what we understand, if you get a carp, you have to kill it and not throw it back in. You've got to bury it. That's it for this video. If you've got a camp in Victoria that you think we should go to, make sure you put it down in the comments for us. And if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and I'd love you to subscribe.